Hello, today you're going to learn about extended metaphors. As you know, a metaphor is a comparison of two unlike things without the use of the words like or as. An extended metaphor refers to a comparison between two unlike things that continues throughout a series of sentences in a paragraph or lines of a poem. It is often comprised of more than one sentence and sometimes consists of a full paragraph. We're going to look at Oranges by Gary Soto. It's a poem and it's going to be our mentor text. I'm going to break it down. I have several different slides here and I've broken down the poem. The first time I walked with a girl, I was 12, cold and weighted down with two oranges in my jacket. December, frost cracking beneath my steps, my breath before me, then gone. Use this imagery to imagine a very cold day in December. And I also have a little note here that says, how is the image of oranges different than the image of a cold December day? So I want you to start thinking about a metaphor here, okay? We're having a comparison of two unlike things. As I walk toward her house, the one whose porch light burned yellow night and day in any weather, a dog barked at me until she came out pulling at her gloves, face bright with rouge. I smiled. Think about how the poet uses the warm colors in contrast to the cold December day. If you know anything about warm colors, think about fires, okay? Oranges, yellows, and reds. The word rouge is just a fancy word for blush that a girl would wear on her cheeks. I touched her shoulder and led her down the street across a used car lot and a line of newly planted trees until we were breathing before a drugstore. We entered, the tiny bell bringing a sales lady down a narrow aisle of goods. I turned to the candies, tiered like bleachers, and asked what she wanted. Light in her eyes, a smile starting at the corners of her mouth. I fingered a nickel in my pocket. Why does the poet use the line, light in her eyes? Again, think about comparison, comparison of cold, dreary days and what's happening in their young lives. And when she lifted a chocolate that cost a dime, I didn't say anything. I took the nickel from my pocket, then an orange, and set them quietly on the counter. When I looked up, the lady's eyes met mine and held them, knowing very well what it was all about. Outside, a few cars hissing past, fog hanging like old coats between the trees. I took my girl's hand in mine for two blocks, then released it to let her unwrap the chocolate. Can you picture the fog? Can you see the contrasting colors in your mind? Gray versus the red in her cheeks, the orange in the fruit, the yellow in the porch light. I also like the innocence here. He's trying to be more grown up. He's holding her hand, but he finally lets it go so she can eat her candy. So there's still that innocence of childhood here. I peeled my orange that was so bright against the gray of December that for, from some distance, someone might have thought I was making fire in my hands. Picture the bright orange against the gray, cold, foggy December day. Extended metaphor, Gary Soto's poem, Oranges, uses contrast between brightness and dullness, warmth and cold, and young and old to convey a romantic experience between the narrator and his girlfriend. The poet reminds us that the memory of an innocent first love can warm the heart and burn bright in one's memory. The poem, Oranges, is an extended metaphor because it continuously contrasts the dull cold of winter with the warmth of the girl's cheeks, the light in her eyes, her yellow glowing porch light, and the excitement of a first love, and of course, the brightness of the orange.